Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us today on Attack. Dun, 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 dun. So, I apologize that a few of us weren't here last week, and the video still has not been posted, but it's because we got the video a little bit late. So, it'll be coming out very soon. And uh, this week, though, we're all here except for the Greek. He's uh, getting ready the for his Greek. wedding, and uh, that's Saturday. Yep. October 1st. The guy's getting married. It's crazy. Crazy times. He's growing so, up. He's growing up. Got a kid, getting married, doing the whole uh, American dream next to the house. Uh. <laughs> like this guy just fought, finished buying a house. I think yeah, you guys yeah, talked yeah. about it uh, what? last week. Last week. So, anyway, this week on Attack, Absolute Threshold is going to talk about. Do we know? Does anyone yeah, know? Before. Did we? Cyberspace. No, we're not talking about cyberspace, man. Well, I'm, wait, hold on. I'm segueing for the audience because we happen to have our homie Walter. That's right. Walt. We have Mr. a guest Greg's. today. He's in What's town up? From thatmetalstation.com. Thatmetalstation.com. Please check that out. It is amazing. It's awesome. Thank you very much, guys, man. I'm totally honored to be here. I really appreciate the offer, man, and uh, the great hospitality. I want to say cheers to you guys and thank yeah, you cheers. for the beer. Salute. Cheers, yeah. Cheers. Thanks for coming out. So, um, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've been with ThatMetalStation.com for a little over a year now. Um, I started off doing reviews and writing. Uh, pretty much, I didn't really have the equipment to DJ, and I love metal. I've loved it ever since, like, six years old. Somebody gave me, like, a Metallica's Garage Days album, <laughs> and I, I, you know, nice. I, I used to play it on my Play School record player, so I've been a metalhead for most all my life, <laughs> and... Um, so, yeah, I had the opportunity to start writing reviews for ThatMetalStation.com uh, last July 2015. And uh, December, I, I got all the gear together and started DJing my own live show. And it's, uh, it's been a hell of a ride ever since, nice. man. Nice. That's great. So, really, it sounds like That Metal Station only talks about metalheads, talks about the music, scene, the upcoming shows and everything. So, why, why did you, I mean, other than being a big metalhead, why did you decide to go and work or do that, that particular thing, other than being, like I said, a, a metalhead. How did you find it, I guess, or start it, or anything like that? Uh, the way I got into it, actually, uh, my a big shout out to my brother, a good friend of mine, 20 plus years, Harley Pullen. Uh, he lived back east, out in Tennessee, and he started DJing for a different station about three, five years ago, something like that. And it was kind of a way that we got to hang out long distance. I was living in California at the time, and you know, they had the chat room. He was doing a live show. It was like kind of a fanboy dream for, for both of us, you know, like my buddy's a fucking metal DJ. And uh, so, like, I, I would tune into his show every week, and it, it was just a, a really cool experience to be able to hang out with my friend while he was doing what he's so passionate about. And uh, last year, he, he ended up moving out here to Arizona. As a matter of fact, he's still my roommate to this day. And uh, nice. That, nice. that's kind of how I fell into it. Awesome, yeah, awesome. Right so, yeah, I guess this week... Cyber space, as Gavin pointed out, is is pretty much a good topic because out there in the world of the internet, you can get and do almost anything. I mean, it's massive, and I don't know cyberspace. Gavin, what do you think? It's, it's like a Trumpism. <laughs> it's massive. There's things you can do. It's huge. It is <laughs> cyberspace. It's huge. By the way, if you didn't watch the the uh, debate, it was terrible. It was terrible. It was awful. But. Yeah. I did Trump eyes. Or Can you guys Trump, hear me on this? Trumpism. Yeah. Trumpism. My headphones Trump. keep cutting out. It's because you're stepping on the little cord thingy or it's not connected right. Anyway. Blame it on the guest. Anyway. Technical difficulties. <laughs> technical <laughs> difficulties. Oh, no. That debate so, was horrible. It was. Yeah. And uh, something with that, I mean, there's so much stuff out there with, like we were talking about cyberspace. Like you and your friend kind of got together after 
20 plus years you said you knew this yeah we, we've been friends for 20, 20 years plus. yeah so and that's the thing and he started this up and you how did you hear his stuff originally you said he was back east right and through the cyberspace, right? Through the yeah, radio. Through cyberspace. Through cyberspace. So that's the thing. You can do and see things, even if it's all the way on the other side of the country, and it can really change your life. And in this case, he actually moved here, and now you're a part of a part of that, that metal station. Yeah, absolutely, dude. And, it, you know, uh, to stay on topic with the whole cyberspace thing, like um, local, local favorites out here, Six Million Dead just played the West Coast Death Fest out in uh, Baldwin Park, California. Wow. Nice. And uh, they, they did a, a live Facebook feed of it. So I actually that's got awesome. to enjoy some of their show via, but not being via there. Facebook. Yeah, and that's the thing. A lot of bands are doing that now. They're starting to post videos of them live playing at shows. And the other thing, too, is this video is actually being recorded on a GoPro, which is another huge tool that you can use to upload to YouTube, Facebook, the Internet in general. It's it's a uh, cyberspace has really changed the world is as far as uh, how we do things, how we interact with people, and not to mention you know you have social media which is blown up, and that's really how you get yourself out there, you know. And without that, I mean, where would you be? Going to shows, handing out thousands of flyers, having them thrown in the trash, destroyed, ripped up. The good old days. The good old days. <laughs> oh, yeah. I days. miss the flyers, man. I, I, <laughs> I still have some old school ones from like uh, the early 2000s that I hang on my wall. Because I'm still a child. I still hang posters <laughs> and uh, Hot Wheels and shit in my room. That's, that's what I'm talking about, man. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I thought we were still doing that, too. I'm, I'm with you. Yeah, right? Right. right. I didn't know. <laughs> right, man. Yeah, growing up's overrated. <laughs> yeah, right. I miss flyers, though. I, I miss concert flyers. Uh, but you're right. The... Um, the, the social media thing has totally blown up, and that's my main way to publicize my show and our station, uh, social media, Facebook, all day long. I mean, I spend probably an hour just plugging my show on Facebook if I'm wow. doing it right. <laughs> right. And so you hit that show up on everything, correct? You put it on all the metal stations on Facebook, all the – or the, the – uh Groups. Groups, I guess, on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I try to hit up – I haven't been um, – I haven't been on it lately. Like, you know, I haven't been on top of my game because work and, and the show have kind of blended. <laughs> so if, if I'm on top of my game, my show is prepared the night before. And then when I get home from work, I have plenty of time to uh, spam the hell out of Facebook. So, but yeah, you know, uh, it, if they'll allow it, you know, a lot of the groups on Facebook uh, have rules and regulations that if you start overpopulating their post or their feed with with your post on your show then yeah you, you'll, you'll get kicked so I, I try to be so you got to be really careful and that's the thing too over I guess populating or over spamming stuff can have negative effects because people get tired of seeing it and then it's just going to turn them off to things so and in our case we've had some issues posting on Facebook with absolute thresholds and I mean luckily we have Gavin who's pretty much on top of taking care of our Facebook and social media. But the thing is, and we were just talking about it before the show, is that we need everybody involved in the band. We need everybody doing their part. Because, I mean, five people, in our band anyway, posting the same thing is not that many. Now, if you have someone that has you know, more people or someone that does it every couple hours, then it becomes a nuisance and people could be burdened by it in, in it becomes a little repetitious yeah, yeah it's it's a little you're, you're drowning people with your information got it Cat right. cataclysms coming to town on sunday <laughs> got it <laughs> right. i know <laughs> yeah, right right and then not only that uh plus on your personal facebook's if you have facebook pages that are on there uh your your posts don't go to everybody unless you pay facebook anomaly fees to constantly post your stuff and reach out to multiple people that's why our buddy gavin here is like hey start posting your shit on your own pages because <laughs> mm -hmm. it gets out to all your friends and doesn't get lost and along with that too chris is make sure you have friends <laughs> that are in True. the community <laughs> first step <laughs> okay make sure friends. you have friends second step Check. make sure that they're in the music community even if you don't necessarily personally know them just add them as a friend if they're in the music community. Why? Because they might see that and be like, oh, maybe I'll go check out that show. Or, hey, it gets you, your name and your music and your stuff out there to other bands, other people that may not necessarily go and check out your page. So it gets you more exposure, in essence. So. And if you have to, dedicate a, a new Facebook page. Make a new personal profile if you don't want to you know, involve family or, I don't know, co-workers. Right. Cause Correct. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, the algorithms, the way they work, you know, if, if you have a band page as an entertainer or, like mine, as a, as a blogger, 
um, yeah, you, the the algorithms really mess with you. They really want you to to pay f- to sponsor your to stuff. pay stuff. Yeah. So just just be careful what you do with social social media because there's other things too. Like you could get. Um, I know people lately here have been getting. Some people have been getting hacked, and then they throw stuff on there, and you're like, well, I didn't fucking do that, you know? And it's just it kills your page because then people are like, oh great, this person's a spamming me or it's hacked. I'm hacked, and I'm not going to check them out anymore. So just be careful with how you handle cyberspace because it can be a dangerous place so i have a question so we were kind of talking about earlier um you've done plenty of reviews uh what is the like you were saying kind of like a weird interview you were doing i want to hear about this (laughs) all right well it's funny because uh you know um after you guys had uh, offered me a spot here on the podcast i was like you know what i should probably catch up on their podcast and i have really enjoyed the last one uh number seven was a blast watch uh but like every topic that you've had, I'm like, oh my god, I could to- totally tune in on this. Like I'm answering your guys' question just watching your podcast. There but you uh, go. Uh, yeah, the the one that you guys did on catastrophe, I was <laughs> I was like, I I could drag their podcast out for like two hours with catastrophes. Um, I was telling Gavin at at Joe's Grotto, it was um, the Origin Show with Belfagor and uh, Shining and Shining, yeah. So anyway, I, I, I show up now when, when I do interviews, I try to be as professional as possible. You know, I, I treat this like a business as what it is, you know, right. the, the station yeah, is a definitely. business. Uh, I show up, you know, if I have my press passes, I get with the tour manager, blah, blah, blah. So I had an uh, interview with Jason Kaiser from Origin, which was a blast. The dude is fantastic on the mic. And then the night went on. That was my only interview. And I was like, sweet, I can party tonight. So I commenced with partying. Right, and started right. drinking, started drinking. Shining was on stage. They were crazy. They're from Sweden. And um, I kept calling them the silence all night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I met them out on, on the patio at Joe's Grotto. And uh, like one of their friends, they have a local friend here that introduced me. And, yeah, I, I saw him interviewing Jason. And you know, I was like, yeah, I was pretty well lit up at the time. <laughs> Had no business nice. talking to these people. It, 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 it like, was, hey! At sure. least on a professional level. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. You know, high five, great set, and I should have left it at that. No, I was like, yeah, dude, I'd love to interview you guys sometimes. And the guy looks at me, he's all, really? I'll be right back. Stay right here. And he takes off, and I'm like, and his friend's like, you should stay right here. <laughs> like, all right. So uh, he comes back, he's all, come with me. All right, next thing you know, I'm on the tour bus with Shining. Don't call them The Shining because they'll correct you immediately. <laughs> it was a disaster, a complete disaster. Like, things got weird. And you know what? Thank you, guys. Uh, if, if they're watching or listening, thank you very much for the hospitality and allowing me on the bus. I had no business interviewing you, but I think at some point they're like, we're going to fuck with this guy. And excuse my <laughs> language. We're, we're going to mess with this guy pretty hard. And they were like, you know... Uh, it's going to get graphic for a second. Uh, when was the first time you sucked a cock? And I'm like, really? Awesome. <laughs> this is where we're in. I made up a story. It was awesome. I was like, oh, I was in Ottawa, Canada. I've, I've never been in. You know, I was like, oh, it was amazing. It was such an experience. And, you know, it was just, dude, it got really bad. It got really bad. Like, they even offered me some of their alcohol. Like, here, have some. It was Jim Beam. I took a swig. I was like, thank you for your whiskey. He's like, it's bourbon. And they just corrected me, and it was a, a complete disaster, man. Complete disaster. <laughs> so that, that, I'm guessing, is probably the worst, worst you've ever had on interview-wise? Uh, interview-wise, yeah, that was probably my worst experience. I've had some really awesome interviews, but, yeah, that was a, it was a good lesson is what it was. You know, did, I, I learned a lot from that. Did you use it? No, I did not. Oh. I don't plan on it. it it's, it's my little secret thing. In the secret disc. <laughs> Whenever I want to feel bad about myself, I'll pull it out and listen to it. There you go. Hit him up. Make sure he lets it out. Just contact him and be like, now, nah, we want to hear it. This is good. <laughs> oh, you should hear me. I'm like, so, you're the new bass player. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love silence. <laughs> it's the awkward silence, you know. That oh, that's how makes it started theater. out. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, no, you're good. No, that's what we does. do. Cool. We do it. That's, that, that, that's totally how it started out. I was like, so you guys are here. I, I have my thing that I start the show with every time or an interview. You're here on Walter's Wallow on that metal station.com. I'm chilling with the silence. And everybody's like, ooh, that's all you hear in the background. I'm like, ah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. That's good. Yeah, I mean, and that's the other thing. Having a signature intro to your show, I think, is crucial. Absolutely. Right? I mean, and you guys are, 
what was it again? I'm sorry. One that, more time. Thatmetalstation.com? Yeah. No, no, no. Your, your intro. Like, what, what is your intro to when you introduce thatmetalstation.com? You just said, hi, my name's Walt. Oh, like, uh, when I start my show yeah. or when I do an interview, they're two totally different things. Like, uh, if I was interviewing you guys, which we're going to do here real soon, we'll get to that later, but... Uh, cool. Um, when I like, if I was interviewing you guys, I'd be like, "What's up, metalheads? You guys are here on Walter's Wall of Woe, thatmetalstation.com. I'm chilling with the boys from Absolute Threshold. Say what's up, guys." And like, if I have a group of people, I'll have you state your name and position in the band, so that way uh, somebody can put a, a voice with the name and you know right, who they're right. talking to. So, well, that's good. And the reason I ask that is just because we're trying to become more unified and have a uniform way of doing these podcasts. Because right now we're kind of. We're all over the place, people. We're scatterbrained. And sometimes we don't even know what the heck we're talking about before we do the, the show. So. Dang, bro. Just give it all away. Well, Dang. you know what? I, I think you guys are doing a fantastic job because I watched all your podcasts. And I actually reverse well, engineered you. it. Because oh, really? I, yeah, I watched seven the other day. I think I started with six, and then I watched seven. And then I just went all the way back. And I'm like, what's with the scratchy mic? And I kept having to remind myself, don't forget, this is their earlier stuff. They were getting into it. <laughs> you know? Oh, yeah. Gavin's over here, like, talking from the mic over yeah. here. <laughs> yes. Gavin, yes. you're the worst, dude. I got to say, you're the worst about it. You, you start drifting off. He like does. <laughs> then nobody can hear you. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. That's why we... I love you, dude, though. Thank you. You're the reason why I'm here, dude. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Gavin, for, uh, for hooking Walt up, having him here. It's great. Good job. Thank you. For uh, finally having a having guest, here, folks. It's good to have you Finally here. having a guest on the show. It's been four weeks. Four episodes. Four episodes? Yeah. yeah, four episodes, and we haven't had a guest. So thank you so much, Great. Walter. Dude, you guys are doing a fantastic thing. I really love what you guys are doing, not just for the local scene, but the unsigned band scene. I mean, uh, like I said, I've watched your podcast. You guys have so much information that needs to be shared with a lot of fresh, young talent that, that's coming out and has no idea what kind of puddle they're stepping in, man. Yeah, and that's the thing. We wanted it to be informative in the beginning, and now we want to start moving on to more, not necessarily fun topics, but topics that, you know, kind of catch the viewer's attention and if you're watching make sure you keep watching so it's coming well, cyberspace stuff's coming. is a really good topic <laughs> yeah it is yeah it is we're gonna mess with you too on the interview. good good please do <laughs> <laughs> i was hoping you would <laughs> it's also just keeping an eye on what's going on in the phoenix music scene too like news and reviews like you know what shows are coming up i'm pretty stoked uh, they've got the dust bowl metal show festival that's coming up in november november so, 4th and 11th seven. right Yes, as a matter of fact, it is. But uh, yeah, Rich put that together, and uh, they have the compilation going on. Oh, we're having Uh-oh, some hold technical on. difficulties. Technical, technical difficulties yeah, here. But, um, Whoa. Whoa. He's falling down. Whoa. Right. Uh-oh, Matt. Matt, he's, he's breaking it. He's breaking it. All right. It is officially broken. It no, broken. it's not broken. Let's, let's we'll, post we'll fix that it. there. We'll hold it. There we go. Hold Wait, is he? He's Professionals. We're getting it set up here. Hold on. He's keep backing up. <laughs> All right, he's back in. Woo. All right. All right. He matrixed it. He matrixed it. Okay. So anyway, there you go. technical difficulties. It's all right, folks. We'll, we'll edit that. We can edit anything in this video. Right. So. Cool. Yeah. Turn me upside down. It'll be great. That- <laughs> Dust Bowl Metal Show, you were saying? Yes, Dust Bowl Metal Show, which that's actually on Thursdays. Tune into that at dustbowlmetalshow.com. You know, uh, 6 p.m. Yes, 6 p.m. But uh, yeah, Rich, he runs a really good show. He promotes a lot of the local music. And, and what's this whole thing? It's like I keep it ninety eight percent Arizona metal. Mm-hmm. So, he does too. Yeah. He he puts on a good show, and I won tickets from his show, which I I was I don't know I was conflicted about. I'm like, well, I'm I'm on a my own radio show, and now I'm stealing <laughs> tickets away from other listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the other thing. Do you guys um, on your guys is that metal station? Do you guys uh, do promotions like that, give away tickets, or do you guys do that kind of thing? Absolutely. Well, you know what? I, I've really broken in the local scene. Uh, we have so many great DJs, uh, DJs from the U.K. And, and across the country here in the U.S. Um, but my thing is the local Arizona metal, and, and I spin you know, national global acts, but um, I've had the privilege of uh, giving away tickets to you know, final hour booking shows. Adam has hooked me up. I've given away a couple Tony Toledo tickets. Uh, everybody's been really cool and helping me outgrow my show in that sort of sense. But uh, the station as a whole, we, we do something called the Big Box O Metal oh, every okay. year around Christmas time. As a matter of fact, I'm putting it together right now, and it's like 40 CDs and all the merch that any band wants to throw in there. And it's the Big Box of Metal. Like, That's awesome. If you, that is it, awesome. It's like a 30-day contest. Uh, you don't have to listen in. You just got to jump on the website, thatmetalstation.com. 
And uh, nice. There and you, go. You, you fill it out real quick. It's like a, your email. And no, we're not going to do anything with your email. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think half of us even know what to do with your email once we get it. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, 30 days long entries from across the country and across, across the globe. Um, that's and yeah, somebody idea. gets hooked up, man. That's a great idea. That is awesome. Yeah, it's good times. Yeah, it is. That I was going to say, like, how do you compete with, because there is so many DJs around. There's so many metal ones. Even you can listen to anybody on the earth as long as they put it on the internet. Mm-hmm. How do you, I mean, that's a great way right there of competing. Is there any other suggestions? Because, I mean, other people are going to want to start stuff too, but how, how, do, how do you pull people in to listen to you? Uh, well, you know what? We work with a lot of big name PR companies. Uh, for bands out there that don't know what a PR company is, it's, it's Puerto Ricans. Puerto Ricans yes. <laughs> Rebels. Puerto Rican <laughs> Rebels. No, it's uh, uh, public relations companies, and uh, you, you pay X amount of dollars, and they spam all of their contacts, which are all web signs, uh, internet radio station, FM radio stations. So we deal with a lot of PR companies that just. You should see my, my station email, dude. It's like album after album after album, just brand new music, promo, 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 promo. And um, so that, that kind of gives us a head, a head start on things. We have plenty of big news about big bands like Slipknot and like smaller stuff on brand new bands coming out of Norway. And it, it's crazy. So I, I think that kind of gives us a, a so, step up. Yeah, that's some good information, especially if they know, because a lot of people locally won't know unless they listen to FM stations. Right. 98 KBD. Well, exactly. you can get it ahead of time, or you just have thatmetalshow.com. Hit up there, listen to it. I mean, you can even contact him to try and, you know, see what's up. It's a, it's a better way. It's a better hookup. It's local. It's, I mean, it's just honest without huge corporations running it. Metalstation.com. Get them, dude. Metalstation.com. You know what? You know what? Joe did that to me the other night at, at the show. He was throwing me a shout out on stage. He's like, that metal show. And you could tell he realized it halfway through. <laughs> Thanks, Scott, for giving us such a wow. killer metal name. But uh, yeah, he, he worked it out later in the show. And thank you very much, My bad. Joe, My bad. for Mashes of the Dead. Not nah, dude, you're all good. Don't even worry about it. Not, not offended one bit. Uh, Bertucci's a man. You know, like, yes. we got to get him over here. I, mean, I agree. We've been working on the Soundphoria yeah. project now. And like, Soundphoria. By the way, folks, Soundphoria. We're going we're gonna to be putting that episode probably. Right at the end of the show. No, we're not putting it at the end of the show. If you don't, if you didn't watch the last podcast, did you? Did you watch our own podcast? <laughs> yes, I did. Look at this. This guy doesn't even watch our own podcast. Silly. Yeah, with uh, Jimmy's wedding. Yeah, there'll be an abridged version, but we'll be dropping that with this as well. Uh, hey, how's it going? It's Matt from Death Grip here uh, with Sound Forty Entertainment, giving you the show's forecast for the week. Hey, what's going on, Phoenix? This is Gavin, and I am here to tell you what's going on in the world of rock and metal in the Valley. Tuesday, October 11th, 13th Floor Entertainment presents Mushroom Head. Included with Mushroom Head will be special local guests. The Stick of Thieves, Death Division, Raven Black, Sunflower Dead, and Unsaid Fate. It's at Club Red Tuesday, October 11th. Two! Two! Two for Tuesday. Um, Tuesday, October 11th is uh, also Grim Reaper with 13th Floor Entertainment. Badass. Joe's Grotto. Special guests, uh, Yitzo, Scattered yeah. Guts, Button Face, Death Hammer. Doors are at 6 o'clock. It's all ages, so everybody come on down. Also going down at the Yucca Tap Room on Friday, October 14th. Music is Dead, CD release party from the band Manual Sex Drive. They're playing along with my buddies in the Spider Hole. Amazing band. If you haven't checked them out yet, go see them. Uh, they're also playing with Andy Warpigs. This is only a $7 donation that you have at the door. So go check that out. It's at the Yucca, which is a great place. All right, Friday, October 14th. Uh, you will have to come to tempyart.org and hazymusic.org's pre Halloween bash. Uh, it's 21 plus, no cover, that means it's free. Um, and then come see special guests as the following Buried in Red, Bellatrist, and Psychedelic Medusa. It's on Tempe Tavern at Apache. Do it! Also going down on October 14th. It's quite a day for rock and metal in the valley. Very happy to report that. Medicine, the new album being dropped by the Black Moods, which is a phenomenal band. If you haven't checked them out yet, it's, in my opinion, a great combination of like Led Zeppelin, Stone Temple Pilots, just talent. But anyway, regardless, their album release party, that's going on at Wasted Grain in Old Town Scottsdale. So go check that out. It starts at 9 p.m. 
Immortalized Productions, Friday, October 14th, presents the Midwest Melee Tour. Featuring Fighting the Phoenix, Perilous, Destroy the Atlas, Crippled Ninja, and Existence AD. This show is going down at Prancers 2 in Scottsdale. Six bucks gets you in the door, and the doors open at 7.30. It's that time of year also for the state fair. Who doesn't love going there? You can eat deep fried anything, have a tasty beverage, and you can check out some local music. Go check out my boys in the band Leshen. Definitely a good throwback to some old school thrash metal. I think you'll enjoy. That's going on October 16th. That's a Sunday. They're playing at 7 o'clock. What a perfect time, right? All right. Moment you've all been waiting for. Shameless plug time. Uh, Death Grip. We uh, are doing maybe one more show this year, uh, so keep your eyes peeled for that. Um, you'll get to see our new drummer, Ryan Bell. Um, we also have our single for Hanging by a Thread of the same name, of course, the namesake. Uh, that is available for a dollar right now on Bandcamp, on our Bandcamp page, uh, deathgripband.bandcamp.com. Uh, you can also get uh, our three-song EP, which is three songs for free. Um, you just have to provide an email, and uh, you'll get those for free on our Bandcamp page as well. And uh, So you'll have almost half our album already uh, before the release, which is going to be early next year, so keep your eyes peeled for that as well. So. Uh, Peace out, brothers. Thanks for checking out the video. It's all about supporting local Phoenix rock and metal. So go to a show. Get up. All right. Turn off the Xbox. Turn off the PlayStation. You can do that at any time. Live music is live. It's here and now. That's when you do it. Hey, thanks again and until next week. I really like to make sure that people are informed where the shows are going on and whatnot. And so, you know, because when people complain, oh, there's no shows near me, I don't feel like going out. It's like, shut up. There's like something like nearby everywhere. I mean, whether you're downtown Phoenix, if you're in Scottsdale, if you're in North Phoenix, that's one of the whole points of sound for you. I'm trying to eliminate that whole like, oh, I don't know. I'm just going to stay in. It's well, an excuse. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, and the other thing too is I know uh, Gavin was telling me that there was only like one show this last weekend, right? Uh, or yeah. this, this well, coming, coming weekend? Coming, well, this coming I, weekend. I mean, or? at the Grotto, I mean, there's not a lot of shows going on. Uh, well, you have Alice in Chains, that's going on. But um, like, with respect to like local, local shows, bands, yes. um, I know Concertina, they're playing over at Joe's Grotto Saturday night. And the Astral Light, they're playing Friday night. Uh, two awesome bands, by the way. Um, Astral Light, man, they're very avant garde. Really dig them. Have yeah, you checked good. them out? I yet? haven't. Very I haven't. cool band. Cool and Concertina, they're tight. You know, I'm still breaking into a lot of the local bands. I, like I said, I've been doing this for about a year now, and you know, starting off slow, and was like, "Hi, I'm Walter. I want to break in the local scene." And <laughs> dude, it, it 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 snowballed on me. Like now, I've, I've actually got people hitting me up. Hey, I hear that you DJ a show and stuff like that, which is really cool. And and mad respect to anybody who's throwing my name out there. I really appreciate it. But um, yeah, I haven't heard of those bands yet. Sorry, I keep. Going off on a tangent no. over here. <laughs> I'm surprised that yes, we didn't man. have. Uh, I'm surprised yeah, we didn't have someone great. interjecting over here. All right, great. Let's get it back. In right, order. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. All right. You, like, you need like a yellow card. Like, all right, you've gone way too far off. So, so guys, our, our show is almost over. But uh, Walt, I wanted to ask you one real quick question. So, have you had any hiccups being with that metal station, other than like the interviews or anything like that? Have you guys had technical difficulties, like the website's down, or have you ever had an, anything like that? And how did you guys overcome it? I mean, talking about our couple of previous episodes where we talked about catastrophes, so. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I, I could add and add to that show. Uh, we have, though, like uh, one time our server got hacked. <laughs> so oh, like, really? See, we were just absolutely. talking about that. Cyberspace. We were just talking about cyberspace. Cyberspace. Yeah, no, our server got hacked, and uh, it would just it would drop our server or our airstream like right in the middle of shows, and somebody was literally on on a keyboard somewhere going, <laughs> "Idiot!" and and our stream would drop. So um, Scott Green, big big shout out to Scott Green, the owner of ThatMetalStation.com. He also goes by DJ Guilty. Uh, he got on the ball, was trying to work it out with the server, and they were like, oh, we don't know what you're talking about," and he's like, "Really? Because bam, we're done with you," and. Actually, something really cool came out of it because uh, we got a new server up, and now we're streaming in uh, 320 HD. Wow, nice. fantastic. Nice. Yeah. Fantastic. So, I mean, so, so once again, as we were talking about cyber cyberspace, there's also cyber attacks. And, I mean, that's definitely a huge cyber attack, and it can affect you big time. 
So just keep that in mind when you're... Cyber attack. Cyber attack, huh? Yeah. yeah that was good. Oh, yeah. that's really good. Yeah. So, no. anyway, uh, I guess... This concludes our episode. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of does. But, just uh, been cyber attacked. Yeah, just been cyber attacked. Oh, no. <laughs> so uh, one last thing. Mm-hmm. Since this week we do have a guest, Walt... Do you have a band that you think, um, or a band that you think would like to have be on the station, or have their music or their song played at the end of the show? Oh, that, that you know of? Uh, yeah, I know plenty of bands. I'm sure you do. <laughs> yeah, ah, absolutely. See? There uh, we go. That's what I'm talking there's about. There's these guys, Absolute Threshold. <laughs> um, yeah. Who the hell is that? Um, <laughs> wow. Or if a band that you've listened to at that metal station. Dot com that you think like man this local band is fantastic you know what besides I'm, us of course I'm but. gonna have to throw out Singularity right now I don't know if Singularity guys, yeah. Yeah. okay dude their new their new album or EP Voidwalker is out now you can find that uh, killing it I was listening to it on the way down play some of that Singularity dude okay that's good stuff right there bro it's with the bass player from them actually I went to school with him oh really yeah he's He's a fucking badass. And dude, watch. <laughs> they're, they're getting ready to take off big because they just toured uh, like a Southwest, North, or West Coast type of tour with Archaic and Vail Nath. And I, I Facebook stalked them because that's kind of my job. <laughs> and uh, it looked like they were having a blast and they got a lot of good reception from the fans on that. So that's good. awesome. Yeah, congratulations to you guys on Voidwalker. Yeah. Amazing album. Amazing artwork, too, on the album. So, And we'll be hitting you guys up because uh, we want to get one of your guys' tracks on the... Uh, on this podcast, so Absolutely. you'll be hearing from us real soon. So they won't see this before. Yeah, they, they, they will, man. I'm gonna hit them up on Facebook. I'm man. gonna share it. <laughs> the sure point them. is, you gotta hit them up, and that's not gonna be posted till I get get this song. <laughs> anyway, that's why they're not gonna see it until. Shut your mouth. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you again so much for joining us today on Attack. And uh, guess what? We'll Thanks see you again, next Walt, time. for coming out. Walt, thank Thanks, you Walt. again, man. Thank Appreciate you guys Walt. very much for having me. This has been a blast. Uh, like I was telling Matt earlier. Uh, it's kind of nice being on the other side of the microphone right. for a change. <laughs> right. I'm sure it is, man. It's, it's fun. I can't wait till uh, we actually have. We're going to get you guys on, on that metal station. You guys are all invited to either be on the live show with me, or um, I definitely want to get an interview going with you when you play December 3rd with get you Ashes of the Dead. Too. That's right. Think... Ashes of the Dead. That's an immortalized production show yes. that you guys got going on December 3rd. I want to, oh, what's it called? A Christmas extravaganza or something yeah. like that? Bertucci and I were working on a promo video for that. Good, it's it's going to be pretty awesome. Well, we'll get it's, together. We'll get an interview. We'll we'll do the cross promotion thing, dude. It's yeah, there awesome. we go, man. We want to get everybody in. The, I'll talk to you. All right, it'll cool. be fun. All right, you can fun. see our name wrong too. That's right. All right, folks. Like I said, you guys have a great night and a great weekend. Thanks we'll see for you joining next us. Week. Support your scene. Attack later.